and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at June 21st, 2024's Palindrome by Kluver. Kluver's one of our setters here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Uh, I'm joined today by... Hello, Betty. Uh, say hi to Betty in the comments uh, to be blessed with past souls. Um, oh yeah, Tom Newman's here too. Um, but... At Gas HQ, we set genuinely approachable Sudoku. These are, you know, uh, variant Sudoku that are meant to be a kind and gentle introduction. Sometimes they're a bit meaner, but we do that just to, uh, you know, keep it fresh and interesting for us. Um, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Hat times are an indicator of how fast or slow you have solved the puzzle. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, let's get into it. So this is a palindrome puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each and the digits along a gray line form a palindrome reading the same backwards as they do forwards um that's it give it a go i recommend it i i thought this puzzle was very very cute um and let's get into it so uh first thing is this is eight digits that don't include the digit nine because nine's at the bottom so this is also eight digits that don't include nine so this is nine and uh using the same logic this is one now that one was pretty free oh pardon me all right now these these two cells are the same these two cells are the same um so where does six go in box two because six can't go in those cells and it sees green and purple um so six must go there easy now uh where does seven go in <laughs> where does seven go in box two well seven can't go in those cells and it can't go in the purple one so seven must go here where does nine go in <laughs> where does nine go nine must go there uh because we know that this line can't contain a nine Finally, five must go here, and that must be eight. Now let's do seven, eight, and five down the side. And over here, we'll do six and nine. Uh, one and two need to go down here. Uh, three and four over here. Five and eight over here. Uh, this is one, uh, which is a naked single. Two, one, uh, four, two, and three but we can actually resolve that right now because this cell can't be a three. So this is a two, then a three. And we can put a two down here. Now, let's, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the coloring cause that makes life a bit easier for me. Uh, now, where does two go in uh, box eight? This other hinge of the palindrome, which is pretty useful. Well, two can only go here. So it must also go here too. Now, where does one go? Well, one we already have in this column, so that must go one and one, uh, meaning this is three, four, five. Now, this is also three, four, five, but because four can't go in these cells, this must be four. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, that's most of this. Uh, I'm bothered with the one, five, nine that's been sitting in the middle because there's nothing you can do with it just yet, but that's okay. Uh, this is a naked single three, so this is also a three, uh, which resolves five, three, five, three. Uh, seven and eight left to place on this palindrome, seven, seven, eight, eight, because of the seven over here. This four will unwind the, the uh, other palindrome, and now we're into classic Sudoku territory, so that's one, five, nine. Uh, all right. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, where does nine go on box nine? Nine must go there. Eight only has one spot that it can go. That's that one. Uh, seven and six, five and eight. Uh, five and nine to place here. Doesn't quite work just yet, but that's fine. That's six, uh, one and two. Seven over here. Six and eight over here. Eight and six. Uh, five and four. Three and four. Uh, one and three. Two and one, which is going to unwind a lot of this puzzle for us. Uh, that's one, that's two, five and one, nine and five, and then nine, 
eight and three. Uh, that has been a very quick solve of uh, Clover's palindrome, but I like to think that it was a pretty gentle, pretty kind puzzle. The sort of one that we're known here for at Gas. So, um, I hope you had a, uh, I hope you had a fun time with the puzzle. I hope, um, you know, uh, if you've, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I am too. Um, I, I'm making something for the girlfriend and my first anniversary, which is next Friday, which will be cute. Uh, she doesn't know that yet. I really hope she hasn't seen this video. Anyway, um, I will catch you next time, uh, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you around. Bye!